welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the full moon um, of September 2018 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back I had this series and then I'd stop it and now the angels and guides wants me to do the full moon um, they want me to work more with the full moon energies so here we are this is the new start of the moon the full moon energies okay so we're going to do the zodiac then we're going to move on to um, the general reading of the full moon then we're going to be moving on to um, the love reading and then the money reading okay so this is an energy vibration for the full moon and this is for the heart sign people okay so we're going to do the art sign people now with a zodiac reading um at the end of the zodiac reading you can choose to go to on demand to get the rest of the full reading this is going to be a reading that is over 40 minutes so there is more information now first we're going to be dealing with the sun people this is the moon we're going to be dealing with the sun people okay so let me put my glasses on because it's in the night so we're going to um, be dealing first with the sun people the sun people are the people um, who were born um, between uh, 12 a.m. midnight till 6 p.m. in the evening okay so moon people are the people who were born 6 p.m. in the evening till 12 a.m. in the morning okay so if you were born between those time then you know who you are if you were born in the day um, that means from 12 a.m. midnight until 6 p.m. you were a Sun sign and from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. night you are a moon sign so let's see what's coming up for you Earth element or zodiac element people for the full moon reading for the month of September so for the Sun sign we have Virgo moon sign we have the Librans and then we have the Leos and then we have Neptune okay when Neptune comes up there is something that we need to align ourselves with when Neptune comes up Jupiter is here so it's going to be a lot of luck for you earth sign people you have the planet of Jupiter that is going to be helping you earth sign people okay so this is this is basically a very positive zodiac energies for you guys because with the outcomes of Jupiter that is just bringing in luck for you guys so let's first look at the Sun sign people so remember if you were born 12 a.m. until 6 p.m. you are going to be connecting with the Virgos it is the two first week of this month you have the energy of the Virgos so so you Sun sign people you people who were born in the day um, between 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. you're going to be connecting with the Virgos okay and for the two first week that is going to be good for the two last week some of you are going to be connecting with the Leos okay now the Leos are going to help you to bring fire in your life you, the Leos are going to be helping you to move forward in your life you're going to be taking on the energy of um, the lion moving forward some of you could be moving or deciding to move if you were born um, between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. you could be taking on a relationship with a Virgo and uh, some of you could be um, aligning with the Leo's okay and it could be a relationship with the Virgo's um, um, and um, work relationship with the Leo's so it's not a bad a month I should say um, for you Sun people because what is happening is that the Virgo's is going to bring you some luck obviously if you're connected with Virgo people they're going to really bring you some luck in your life let's look at the moon people 
the energy of the moon people is that you are going to be working with the liberals so some of you um, moon people some of you who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and um, 12 midnight you could be working with the Leos but you if you have legal issues you could be winning these legal issues because Jupiter is here the planet of luck that is going to bring you in some energy now Neptune is here and Neptune is the planet of the unseen um, you could be getting dreams you could be um, in the night in your dream time you're connecting with Neptune or you're going to be doing asked to travel you could be connecting with Pisces um, the Pisces or the scorpion and this is um, very positive and very good in the sense that what is happening here is that with legal situation you could be winning these legal situation and the planet of Neptune is governed um, with the Pisces people so the Pisces people could be aligning you with basically um, wonderful energies because the planet of Neptune is really um, a situation where um, Neptune is governed by um, the Pisces okay and 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 and, and then the Pisces will be on your journey guiding you on your journey with this planet of Neptune coming in the planet of unseen and uh, this is where you will be connecting with your spirit guides and that sort of a thing in the dream time now as I said Jupiter is a planet of luck so the people who are uh, having legal situation the people who are having legal situation are going to be winning and winning big big it's as if the um, planets are going to magically align in you in positive way especially to do with a legal situation it's as if um, all of a sudden whatever that was um, unjust is going to be balanced out some of you who are in relationships with um, the liberals you are going to be letting these people go and moving towards the Pisces people okay um, these people are aligning you um, with your the unseen world and this is so wonderful because what you're going to be realizing is that Jupiter the planet of Jupiter is aligning you because your um, Saturn is out of retrograde and as Saturn is out of retrograde what this is saying for you guys as Saturn is out of retrograde is that um, begin to um, align yourself and awaken your uh, ask Jupiter the planet of Jupiter to align your eight house and it, it, it will bring in a lot of wonderful positive energies coming in so this is going to be good and for the Sun people the the the, the Virgos are going to be coming in and connecting with you in a very wonderful way um, in a relationship so um, you're going to be aligning yourself with the people of the Virgo energies in relationship and this is going to be um, fabulous this is going to be good because you're both earth sign and I'm taking the pictures for you guys you're both earth sign and um, what you're doing is aligning yourself with the right energies and the right situation in your life so this is going to be very 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 powerful for you guys it's going to be a very powerful full moon for you guys as we look at the energies now um the this new series is um, going to be for every month um, this is going to be called the energy vibration of the full moon energies um, I want to say to each and every person um, you can now use the link below and I want to say thanks to all the winners all the winners thank you uh, to all the Virgos the Capricorns and um, the Tauruses who have a, a wand and on demand um, these came in so fabulous fantastic 
um, please remember that these reading is to back up because after the full moon each month we have a full moon and after the full moon what this does for you guys is that uh, the energies change around you and this is what I'm teaching and bringing in this new series uh, so that you guys can have more information to work with so I'm gonna say um, I will see you on demand for the people who are going to be receiving the rest of the reading um, we're going to do the general and then we're going to do the love reading and then we're going to do the money readings and then we're going to be ending this series for the month of September so please remember to always listen to the monthly readings and the general readings because and listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign because they're also going to give information to you um, these are only going to be done in zodiac signs so you guys are the earth zodiac sign and this is the energy vibration for the full moon for the month of September